W1VLF. Today we'll be mounting the pixel loop out in the woods. You can see it here on a tripod. Um, preamp is in that little white box hanging down below it. So this whole arrangement is going to end up about 300 feet away in the woods in a relatively quiet RF location. So the first thing we need to do is to mount this large roll of RG59 coax and there's not really a great place to do this so I threw a ladder up on the side of the deck and I used it for a wire truck and a couple of bungee cords uh, really fit the bill here. I guess what I'm trying to uh, do here is to say use your imagination. Uh, that's a pretty heavy roll of cable and trying to unroll it on the ground would just not be feasible. Things would get really tangled up. So I use the bungee cords. Um, in, this, in this scene here I try to show a little bit closer how the roll just fits perfectly right in between on the ladder. So again, there's stuff available. You don't think it's there, but it's there. So once I get done tie wrapping or wrapping this in place with the bungee cord, then I'm going to start unrolling the uh, cable. It's about a 350 foot run. So I won't go through all that. I'll show a little bit of it being paid off here, and then um, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll move on. This is kind of funny. It <laughs> really, uh, really uh, pays to uh, make sure that the wire is not tangled before you start walking. Uh, the wire out. When you hear the, the spool stop spinning, that's when I made it to my final destination. Okay guys, before we can mount that pixel loop in the woods here, we have to dismantle the uh, existing loop. This was um, 16 feet tall, 16 feet wide. Do the math, try to figure out what um, the actual circumference was. I used only three turns and I was able to get it to resonate down into long wave bands. Here I'm going to zoom in and show you this coupler. I'll show you a couple, little bit better afterwards. Okay. There's a picture of the coupler. It's two pieces of angle iron, excuse me, angle aluminum that are welded together and it allows you to attach four pipes of your, you know, whatever size you want and uh, you know make all sorts of different loops with it so let me zoom back out 
and I got to get this loop off before we can mount the pixel loop up in the uh, in, on the same pipe. Oh, by the way, those those um, those horizontal masts are two each of the uh, three foot or four foot. I think they're four feet. I can measure them. Um, surplus military masts. Um, so you can see how big and, and tall that is. So let me get that down. Actually, I'm going to put the ladder up there so you can see if there's any mishap and or hopefully it'll come down okay. And then we're going to leave what are the vertical mast left over there and that's where I'm going to mount the pixel loop. Here goes. These hose clamps are five, five, five sixteenths. It's not too windy. There we go. Look at that. Easy peasy. And it leaves us with a nice vertical mass for our uh, pixel loop. So there it is. That's the mount. And then it's disconnect, just loosen this one U bolt um, stainless uh, hose clamp here. Loosen up this stainless hose clamp here. And one side. Do the same thing over on this side. Loosen this up a little bit more, actually. There's a little lip right here that makes it hard to take off. Okay, got to get the uh, cutters out because there's so many pricker bushes out there. Here we go. Man, this this feels like this feels like nothing compared to uh, that big 16 footer. We'll just slide this over the top. <sighs> get back inside we'll have to fire this up and see if it works. We're good in the backyard so out here away from all the noise I'm sure it's going to be even better. 
should ask me about common mode chokes for the feed line too. If anybody remembers that. Alright, there we go. Just a little bit more. little bump on the, uh, the end that makes it hard to get the clamps over. Ah, that should do it. Alright, good. Alright. Just tighten these a little bit. We're going to run a ground wire down as well. Right, tape it right off to the mast here. Just in case. Whoops. Got to go with the 716 system. All right. Oops. Uh, get it a little bit tightened up. Now, right now, this pointed northwest. North, uh, north, north is off to that direction. That's about northwest. If I wanted to listen to uh, WWVB, 60 kilohertz, I could do that. But for right now, we're just going to uh, rename it Northeast Southwest. Okay. Which is about there. You guys might have seen this in the background, sitting on this tripod that's held down by concrete blocks. But this is a, um, an active antenna uses a pair of MPF 102s in parallel and about a three foot whip so I have a choice between that the large uh, 16 foot loop that was there before this vertical I can't see the viewfinder here so or About a uh, 50 foot on a side, maybe more, maybe 60 feet on a side, three turned loop. So this is kind of like uh, an antenna boneyard out here. Hi folks, thanks for uh, watching this video. That's all I really had time for today. Uh, I was a little bit pressed. So uh, stay tuned and uh, look for part two where we'll talk about that mount a little bit more and how to make one yourself. Uh, also, uh, just how good this loop works when you get it away from all the uh, internal noise sources in your house. 73s, again, thanks for watching and please subscribe. This is W1VLF 73.